This basic short sleeve that you have learnt in the previous classes will be the base for all the sleeves that you will be learning today. Now we will be seeing how to draft half sleeves. Half sleeves is the sleeve with the length which ends just above the elbow. For half sleeves you will need to measure from the shoulder point on the body till 1 inch above the elbow and also you would need to measure the round measurement at that point. The measurement I am working on has the length of 9 inches that is from the sleeve cap I will measure downwards 9 inches. So this would be the length of the sleeve. Now using your Z square or L scale draw a perpendicular line. I will just pin this in place. Now mark the sleeve open that is the round measurement at this length. Here it is 9 inches so half of it would be 4.5 inches plus add ease of minimum half an inch. Now from the end of the arm round line connect to that new marking you just made and trace the sleeve curves. We also have the front curve here. I will just trace it with the tracing wheel. Just extend the line and the tracing wheel mark is here. So the deeper curve is the front. This line is the back part of the sleeve. Why I showed this is now in this if you see only the length changes the sleeve cap remains the same there is no change here it will only change the length of the sleeve so this is half sleeves so you have seen short sleeve half sleeve next is 3 4 sleeves 3 4 sleeves is around 3 to 4 inches below your elbow first on your body measure where you want the sleeves to be and apply the measurement here I will keep it 4 inches below the elbow Mark and draw a perpendicular line. On this line mark the round measurement. The round measurement here is 8 and half. Half of it would be 4 and quarter and add 3 fourth inch ease. I will use a red pen to show this. Now from the end point of the arm round line connect to that ease point at Savi's fashion studio learn from basics of how to give darts in a garment in a simple way understand what are darts and why they are sewn in a garment our foundation course teaches you to give darts dart manipulations creating princess scene and sewing a garment with lining. Learn to draft pattern for different fits and for any size with our simple methods of teaching and step-by-step -step guidance. In each of these classes, learn from drafting to completion of the garment and also get additional sewing tips to upgrade your skill. There are lots of free tutorials to help you start sewing. So join us to start sewing and happy sewing. If you see here, there is more ease created on the elbow. That's needed because when you fold your elbows, you would need more ease for comfortable wearing. So this is 3 4 sleeves. Now next variation is full sleeves that is the sleeve length up to your wrist. First measure from the shoulder point or the sleeve cap till your wrist that is still here till your wrist or wherever you want the sleeve to end and mark the measurement here. The measurement here is 21 inches that is up to the wrist from the sleeve cap measure 21 inches towards your left. You would need to mark as per your measurement and draw a perpendicular line. Now mark the round measurement. Let me just show you here. If this is the length of the sleeves, if you take the round measurement here, for example, it is 6.5 inches and apply it on the sleeves. When you wear, you wouldn't be able to wear it because this part is much bigger. When you make full sleeves, 
you would need to take the round measurement here. That would be the minimum sleeve open. Take your tape around and measure. That would be the minimum sleeve open. It's around 8 inches. However, if you want the sleeve to be fitted here, then you would need to keep some kind of opening so that you are able to open the sleeve hemline and your hand goes through it and then you tighten it. If you do not want any closure, then you would need to keep the minimum sleeve open as this measurement. 8 was the measurement divided by 2 would be. Plus you can add some ease if you need to. I'll just add half an inch ease. And then connect. Connect to this point. So this would be full sleeves. Now we have seen three variations of the basic sleeve. Now when you make full sleeve, if you want it little more fitted, then you can use your hip curve to connect from this point to the sleeve open. Use the straight apart, keep the end here and connect. Now this curvy line removes some of the excess fabric from here. So you can make a slightly fitted sleeves. For all these variations I will not be cutting and sewing on the fabric because the sewing method is same as you have learned in short sleeves. But I suggest you make each of this pattern and name it and keep it separately so that you can refer whenever you need to. Next we will see other variations of the sleeves.